Well, we did it. We survived the coldest air of the season so far, both yesterday's high temperature and this morning's low temperature, which was 28 degrees. And now as the sun is setting, as we look west, obviously, in the Raleigh skyline, it's 50 degrees. And with all this cold weather we've had lately, some ski resorts up in the mountains have been able to make snow. And believe it or not, Sugar Mountain Resorts, about three and a half hours west of the Triangle, was actually able to open today. The lifts have shut down for the night, but there were actually people skiing in our state a week before Thanksgiving earlier today. It's obviously a lot colder up there, 45 degrees, and we were cold enough this morning. So we played this game yesterday. How long has it been since? Yesterday it had been eight months since we had a day as cold as yesterday. Well, with this morning's low of 28, we now have to play the game again. And it's 256 days since early March since we've had a morning as cold as what we just had. And it was way below average. Typical morning this time of year, is about 40 degrees and we're still going to be below that tomorrow but just not as cold many of us right now have already dropped into the 40s so these nights get cold in a hurry with the earlier sunset so with clear skies tonight we'll still be chilly just not as chilly down to 41 at 8 dropping through the 30s overnight winding up at 35 degrees tomorrow morning still cold in my book but it's not as cold as it was this morning. So high pressure still firmly in control. We're going to have a change in tomorrow's forecast in that we're going to have a few clouds, which we haven't seen much lately. So with mostly sunny skies and a southerly wind, the bigger change will be the temperature. It's going to be noticeably warmer tomorrow afternoon. And we're going to stay mild as we head into the weekend, thanks to a southerly wind. Temperatures will top out near 70. There will be a few clouds, but also this weekend, we're going to start to turn our attention to the west, getting ready for our next cold front. Looks like the rain will hold off Saturday and Sunday, but we will have scattered showers on Monday as our next cold front comes through. Now, the next cold front doesn't come through until probably Monday night, so temperatures during the day Monday will still be mild, but they will be significantly colder on Tuesday of next week. So for tomorrow, it's Friday. That makes everything I'm about to say better. It'll be mostly sunny. It'll be 68 and done. It'll be 69 on post at Fort Bragg. Temperatures, again, some places more than 10 degrees warmer tomorrow. And that means 66 in Rocky Mount, 68 for you guys down in Benson. Here in the Triangle, about 66 or 67 degrees with mid-60s for highs Friday up along the Virginia border. So the cold weather is behind us for a little bit. 67 is where we're headed tomorrow then up to 70 Saturday, back down to 67 Sunday, all three days with dry weather. Then there's our next cold front with a 30% chance of rain and a high of 65 Monday, but we drop to 55 Tuesday. Then we warm back into the 60s Wednesday and Thursday. Wednesday, a decent chance of rain, and now a small chance of rain possible on Thursday for Thanksgiving, but we'll hold in the 60s for most of next week.